In this tutorial, we're going to uh, take a look at the project uh, by Chris Brecht, who is uh, a young architect. And this is a project of his that uh, has been uh, in the news lately and has been uh, published in a couple of uh, architectural magazines already. And uh, I just wanted to show you how uh, to utilize uh, blocks in AutoCAD to, to create this kind of uh, building. So, uh, so let's, uh, let's start. Uh, first of all, we're going to go to the, to the top view. And let's just create a single element. Let's say it's around five by five. And this will be our single module. So now I'm just going to take a look at the image and see uh, the distribution. Uh, this is how it goes. Oh, this is rotated 45 degrees, and then we we copy this guy here. Two, three. Then we copy this guy here, and we go one, two, three. Then we have to copy this one. One, two, three. This guy goes here and we have one and two. Now I'm going to use curve boolean to get everything like so. So now, uh, now once I have this shape, this is my initial shape. Uh, let's offset it. So I'm actually looking at this base so we're gonna offset these guys here so we have the uh, the inner walls of the building distance 2.35 okay and let's create this here because this part is a little bit different than the rest like so Let's let's trim it. Like so. And let's join this as a single close curve. Okay. So the next thing would be to actually uh, copy this and rotate 90. And now we can actually start building these blocks. So all we need is actually two blocks. We only need two floors because all the floors are the same. They're just different in uh, uh, different in different rotation. So uh, first of all, let's create a thickness. I'm gonna make this 0.4. And I'm gonna bring these guys up as well. 0.4. Let's cap them. And let's bring this up also. For example, 3.2. And let's cap this. So now we have the actual bases. Uh, the next thing would be to put this on top of each other. But before doing that, we're gonna, uh, I just wanted to show you how to create a block. So just select these two and type block and put the base. This is the name of your block. Let's say floor one. Now I have one block and uh, floor two. Now I have those two as separate blocks. So now I'm going to actually uh, stack them on top of each other. I'm just moving them now. Uh, 
Okay, so the thing I can notice here is that uh, this offset probably needs to be even bigger. So in order to fix this, let's uh, just measure it to see how big it is. So it's 0 0.15. Uh, instead of um, instead of 2.35, we need to say 2.2.50, and uh, in that case, we'll have uh, the correct distance. So in order to to actually fix it, let's enter the block. Just double click it. Let's delete this. And let's duplicate the border here, offset it inside uh, 2.5. And that's our uh, that's our line that we want. Now, just like before, let's quickly create this wall here. Like so. And I'm just going to now trim this okay i i should can i i can uh, join this and i can actually mirror it on the other side like so and let's trim it again and let's join everything join so now it's fixed so let's go 3.2 cap it okay and now this guy is fixed okay so actually uh i just realized that i don't need two blocks i just need one block so we just need one uh one uh, single floor if i double click this it's floor two and if i double click it, it's floor two okay so now uh let's let's multiply this uh, let's count uh, the floors. Okay, so I think this is it. Okay, so this is the building. And now, um, now uh, we can actually yeah, get rid of these. Let's continue. The next thing would be to actually implement uh, these these uh, fillets here uh, in the corners. So in order to do this, let's just take one. Uh, let's just take one block and uh, let's rotate it 45 degrees so it's easier because of the rotation angle. And uh, let's start. I'm gonna double click to enter the uh, the mode of the the block and now i'm gonna uh draw a rectangle that is uh that's actually the same thickness as the uh as, as the as the slab and let's move it up like this 0.4 let's see that this will be the bottom as well okay and now what I want to do is actually I want to create a circle. I want to have a circle here and here so that I know which, so that I know how to, to fill it in the best way because we want the full circle fill it. Let's go here and let's go here. So now I know that this is the place where I need to trim the circle. I'm gonna select trimming and this is the line that I wanted. And let's bring it, bring it here so that we can see it. Okay, so I need these guys here. Let's join them. Okay, so now we have it. Let's extrude it up. And this is uh, one of our fillets that we will use across the whole building. Let's go to the side view, mirror it here. So now I have this 
element that we can use we can group this and let's let's continue so now this needs to be mirrored but let's first uh, modify uh, in the other places as well so it's actually you can see here that the fillet is here in the middle and then in these areas here as well so it's these areas here so let's move it up it's there and these guys we can use orient to copy them on the other side like this and now let's copy them also or actually mirror them on the other side here now we can copy all of this here and mirror it mirror it on the other side okay now let's mirror everything like this uh, and now now we have the uh, the, the base setup of course it needs to also go here Just move it up a little bit, like so. And just check to see if this is correct. Yes. Okay. Let's mirror here this guy. And let's mirror this here as well. So once we have this, let's click OK. And we have the building. It's actually populated with all the geometries that we just created. So additional things that we can do is actually we can create a fence if we want and create a windows. Uh, so basically we are just gonna use the same here, the same border and we can insert it let's say 0 0.1 and let's uh, let's in, uh, bring it up 1.1 and offset it inside 0 0.05 and there's our fence that will be from the glass when I click OK we have the fence here it is so now I'm just gonna quickly model the top and I will uh, show you the the result with the final render here is the final rendering hope that you like it if you have any questions comments or suggestions please write them down in the comment section below this video and uh, if you like this kind of tutorials please like and share and make sure to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the bell icon here so that you can get notified every time I upload a new video.